the hype has been building all week and the fans are pouring into the stadium the tension palpable stay tuned we'll have all the action for you live here on ea tv and i must say it's always a very pleasant walk to this venue craven cottage by the banks of the thames i'm derek ray and adjacent to me in the commentary box is stuart robson and very much looking forward to bringing you action from the premier league it's Fulham taking on Chelsea. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And this is the team Fulham have selected. Well, I think they have a nice back. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa begins in goal. Mateo Kovacic starts with N'Golo Conte in the centre of the park. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. Thank you, Craven Cottage. Enjoy the game. And this confrontation is underway. Deciding to go inside. But well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Free kick to Chelsea. Well, later in the game, he might have seen yellow, but not at this early point. Yeah, but I'm with the referee. It's a foul, but no card. Mateo Kovacic. Pulisic now. Committed challenge. Wilson. Well, sometimes we look for an explanation and just can't find one, but the truth of the matter is Liverpool have been well below par. Well, what a poor season they're having. I really thought they would be challenging for the title. There just seems to be something wrong with the attitude of the players at the moment, and that needs to change quickly. Well, that attack going up a dead end, and the keeper has the ball. And they'll get ready for the throw-in. Well, Chelsea deserved all the plaudits they got for their win against Arsenal. How might this one go, Stuart? Well, I think the scoreline tells us what a comfortable... Oh, wait a moment, Stuart. Look at what's happening. And the keeper has denied him. Well, I've got to say, Derek, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. And there's the delivery. Well, it has come to nothing. And using his strength to shield the ball. Fofana. Pulisic now. Precise ball movement. Oh, what an opportunity. And the post coming to the goalkeeper's aid. Well, what a start to the game that would have been. They certainly can't come closer than that. And a change to the scoreline at the Emirates. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Arsenal. They've scored the opener with 13 minutes played. Absolutely no messing around. Big chance. He can't hold on to it. Oh, it's in. The opening goal in the derby. And listen to what it means. Well, I'm sure the replay will confirm he got a touch on this, which he does. So he'd be really upset that he didn't keep it out. moving once more how important will that opening goal prove to be well 
Mateo Kovacic. Kai Havertz. Over the touchline for a throw in. Havertz. This could square the game. But the keeper has a say. And how important could that be in the grand scheme of things? Well, that was a big chance. And really, he should have taken that. But let's give credit to the goalkeeper. It's a decent save. Excellent defending. Lost possession. Falinha. Wilson. That's a very impressive piece of defending. And the counter looks on here. Options available. They need to get bodies back. Havertz. Well, disappointing end to the move. An awful lot of green space to run into. And options in the centre. Tete. Tierney. Can he finish? Well, a wasted opportunity. It would have been a decent chance, but offside the decision. Promising attack, but his timing was off. So nearing the half-time interval and Chelsea facing a deficit. Stuart, what have you made of their first-half performance? Well, it's been a fairly even first half so far, but they haven't shown enough creativity, particularly in midfield, where there's been too many negative passes. If they can get the ball into the front areas that little bit quicker, I think they'll get back into this. Now Chelsea in a position of menace, but really sticking to their task defensively. Now the timing of the pass, that little bit off. Deserves credit for winning the ball back. Wilson. Harry Wilson. Kearney. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. And it crossed the touchline, so a throw in here. Mount. And Chelsea have given us away. And the flag has gone up. It was really close. Havertz. In with a chance. Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. So the corner played into the box and clearing it away. Mateo Kovacic. And Palinha with it. Onguisa. Good visualization and execution. Onguisa. Oh, surely. Oh, that is extraordinary. True athleticism to make contact in that fashion. And it's one of the finest goals you're ever likely to see. Simply stunning. Well, you won't get tired of watching this. The improvisation, the skill, and the end product. What a goal that is.
So the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Well, quite simply, he hasn't been able to make his mark an attack in this game, Stuart. Well, as you can see, he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas. And that's one of the reasons they're losing this game at the moment. Well, the ball is moving again. First half struggles for Chelsea. There for all to see. Can they make a better fist of it this half? Mateo Kovacic. Now with Aubameyang. Great challenge. He got nothing but ball. And this could pose problems for the defenders. No real conviction in the chap. Real chance. And still danger here. And cleared away over the byline. And a corner kick to come. And there's the delivery. Well, the clearance half-hearted. Kukurela. Mateo Kovacic. Just a quick reminder, we have more action from the Premier League coming your way. It's Fulham taking on Brighton. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Kovacic. Havertz. Keeping the ball moving. And back with Havertz. Disappointing pass. On Guisa. And a throw in it's going to be. Well, as the stats confirm, Chelsea have controlled the ball. But most of their passing has been in deeper areas. Unless they start getting it into their front players with better quality, they'll struggle to turn this one around. A very timely interception. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Tom Kearney. No foul play, says the referee. Well, the referee deciding that it didn't warrant a yellow card being handed out. And that was a free kick hit with genuine authority. Well, you have to say that's a really good strike. Had that been on target, the keeper might have had a problem. So a half an hour remaining. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Chelsea facing West Ham United. That looks a really entertaining game. Two good teams with two excellent coaches. I can't wait for that one to come round. Just not looking confident in possession. Well, that's how to beat your opponent. Well, I believe we have news of a goal in the Brentford game. Alex Scott is waiting to give us the information. It's a goal for Brentford. They are now down 2-1 with 66 minutes played. Alex with the info as ever. Chance to do damage. This looks threatening. The goals keep coming. No stopping them today. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Is this going to be a thrashing? 3-0 now.
Obama Yang. Superbly read and executed. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Palinha. Doing well to keep possession. Space and time for the cross. And Palinha with it. James. Determined defending. Wilson. Very quick thinking there. Wilson. Oh, that was begging to be put home. But the goalkeeper has it. Mateo Kovacic. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Mateo Kovacic in the centre. Well, thumped clear. Doughty defending to win the ball back. Well, news to bring you from one of the other games, and big news at that. Here's Alex Scott. Well, it was Spurs that were awarded the penalty. The goalkeeper comes away as a hero because he saved the day. It remains 1-0 with 79 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. A possession lost, intercepted. Harrison Reed. And this situation could be dangerous. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. Well, let's take another look. Yeah, he won't get an easier finish than that. The defending was all over the place, though. And the substitution will occur now. And this is turning into something of a rout. 4 0. But a goal to tell you about in the Arsenal game. Let's join Alex Scott. It's a goal for Arsenal. It was a volley that was mishit. It totally fooled everyone, including the goalkeeper. They're ahead by two now, with 86 minutes on the clock. I really can't see them letting it slip now, Derek. Many thanks, Alex. Substitution time it is. Well, that effort was always going wide. He's not going to be best pleased with himself. So deciding to make a personnel change at this juncture. As far as stoppage time is concerned, three minutes here. Palinha. Cabano, Reed now, can he play it in? Well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Cross towards that far post, and he failed to get it away properly. The final whistle then, the referee says that will be all, and Chelsea fans less than pleased. No points for Chelsea from this game. Well, Derek, today just wasn't good enough. They lacked a cutting edge, they played too slowly, and they made many mistakes at the back. It was really disappointing. Well, we're picking him out for a reason. He's had a tremendous game and attack, Stuart. Well, what more could you ask for? His build-up play was clever, his movement was dynamic, and he scored a couple of goals. What a player he is.